so you want to be able to dart off the start, be as fast as Jim West. That's a film that would have been better as a four minute music video. Anyway, tis the time of season to practice your starts. Yeah, I think you're right. I can smell the heat bomb and liniment from here. <laughs> Is the block start? I just don't understand how there could be traffic at 12 o'clock at night that you're filming. 12.30 nearly. Let's start there. It's not a movement pattern. Remember those fundamentals? You'd have to stop talking about them for me to forget them. Yeah, well, it's not one of those. It's a movement that's based on a number of other movement patterns. It's a hybrid of the bend, the anterior squat, and the lunge pattern. And that is what makes it so challenging. It has elements of all three in there. In reverse order, it's a lunge pattern because you're breaking the horizontal line when you put one foot in front of the other. But you're not hip hyperextending, you're just hip extending. So from that aspect, it lies closer to the squat end of the spectrum. It's a tweener. It lies between the squat and the lunge. However, because it puts you into a King Kong position on the start line, it also has a hip hinge element to it, which means that it's borrowing some skills from the bent pan. So what does all that mean? It means that you've got to iron out any dysfunctions in your bend squat and lunge pan if you're going to really see any realistic improvements in your starts. Firstly, you need to set up your core like a pressurized canister. Secondly, you need your glutes to be able to contract in a lengthened position to fire you out rather than your back lifting you up. And that means that your deep hip hinge, deep, deep, needs to be real sweet. Secondly, or thirdly, your foot's in an on-toes position in both block pads. That makes it a quad dominant movement. It's the equivalent of squatting in high heels, not driving through the heels like you would do in a more posteriorly activating squat. So you have to be very proficient at the anterior end of the squat spectrum. Before you start typing, I covered it in that video. Relax your fingers, it's gonna be okay. And in a number, subsequent to the number I said previously, which I can't remember, you're also in a split stance position, which means that you need to have greater rotational and lateral stability. Otherwise, you end up like Wiley on the start line. <laughs> a lot of movement. Just none of it going forward. So if block starts isn't a movement, then what is it? I cannot believe that there is still this much traffic. Going down a road where everybody's far. Well, it's a skill. Just like playing the piano. It's nothing like playing the piano. Well, unless you count leaping to your feet for a standing ovation after you've played. But what I mean is that skills benefit from practice. Now you've heard it said, it's not practice that makes perfect, it's perfect practice that makes perfect. Well, I disagree with that. Nah, not really, spot on. But I suggest that the perfection lies in the movement pattern training. Once they're perfect, then practicing the start is simply a repetitious performance of the coordination of those three movement patterns in a split second. Now with skills, splitting and then chunking is the key. Why are we trying to make skills? Not soup. So split the start into smaller components and then practice them. Now here's some generic examples I just made up, but anyone could come up with these. So you've got core training and upper skills. Then you've got core and extensions in split foot. And finally, you've got core and then lower body. And these can help 
you develop a base of movement and work out what's not firing properly and what you're struggling with. <laughs> then you join the upper body and the core into a chunk. join together to make another chunk. And finally, you reform the whole pattern like a chicken nugget, new and improved, and you practice that. But all of this is pointless unless you polish those fundamentals to a high metallic shine. You get those right, and you'll see an automatic improvement in your starts. Or just do what everybody else does and go down early season and do a handful of starts thinking that somehow that's going to turn into the speed you'd need for a fistful of dollars. Yeah, he's quick on the draw, but these guns, they're always loaded. Be in the bank, be in the bank! I hope this helps. Bust me a thumbs up, cause let me tell you something. I may well do a video on squats and blocks, because I think it's a lesson to be learned there. But in the meantime, chat away in the comments, babe, and if you like my vibe, please subscribe.